when I was 18, I became a United States Marine. I decided on 9-11 that I wanted to serve. I was about to turn nine years old. When I was 19, I deployed to Afghanistan. I was excited to go. I stepped off of the flight line listening to Creedence Clearwater Revival as if I was in some pseudo-Vietnam War movie fantasy. My second week in country, an MRAP truck was dropped off in front of the armory where I worked. It was hit by a large, improvised explosive device. Everyone inside the truck had died in the explosion. A few of us were curious and took a look inside. Though the bodies were removed, charred skin remains of those unfortunate few were still stuck to the seats in a rough outline of where they sat in their final moments. Frozen poses. I was horrified. It was my wake-up call to reality that is war. A few months later, I was a 50 cal machine gunner on a truck convoy, protecting assets my battalion delivered to the infantry. As a gunner, I provided the protection for the nearby trucks in front and behind me. At one point, the truck in front of me had trouble with one of their tires and had to switch it out. So my truck pulled to its left to provide security during repairs. As the marines of that truck switched the tire, a buddy of mine provided security with his rifle and waved civilian cars to go off of the dirt road around the convoy. A white truck ignored our warnings and flew towards my friend in that truck. I swung my 50 cal around and aimed it at the driver's face. The rules of engagement were very strict at this time. If you make an error, they could land you in Leavenworth military prison. I decided to wait as long as I could before I acted. I didn't want to see my friend or the others harmed in case this guy was a suicide bomber. Just as he was about to reach my friend, the Afghani slammed on his brakes. In what felt like an eternity, the man stared at nothing but me, aiming my 50 cal at his face. I kept saying, do it, motherfucker. Move another foot. I dare you. Eventually, he put his car in reverse, then went around us. As he slowly drove by, he continued his death stare. To this day, I don't know his true intentions. Whose lives did I save? Who's did I damn? I still wonder if he planned on killing my friends. I still see his eyes staring. I don't like people staring anymore. I think of this man who might have had second thoughts, and if he did decide to be braver the next time on some more unfortunate Marines. I will never know if I made the right decision to spare his life that day when I was 19 years old, but that decision has kept me thinking about it and this man since.